Hello everybody, how are you? It is your English teacher Hamas and welcome back again to the online courses. Self-belief and hard work will always earn you success and through hard work, perseverance and a faith in God, you can live your dreams. Keep your dreams alive. Understand to achieve anything requires faith and belief in yourself. Vision, hard work, determination and dedication. Remember, all things are possible for those who believe. Today, we are going to discuss your grammar book unit 12. Please feel free to drop me emails with your comments, inquiries or responses. On the other hand, take care and keep safe and hopefully we'll be back very soon. My dear students, I wish you a prosperous future ahead and all success and happiness. After you finish this presentation, you are expected to know which plus past symbol, know when to use it, know how to use it, know the difference between wish and fact. Dear students, move to your grammar book page 86, unit 12, going places. There you can find two pictures. What can you see there? Excellent, a group of students and they are playing Excellent. They are in a park and playing again. Let us read the conversation. Maddie, I wish I could fly. Ryan, you can. Beth, we can fly. Martin, I wish we could come here every day. So it seems like they are enjoying their time on the park. Let us move to wish the explanation there. We use wish plus past symbol to talk about situation that we would like to be different. So, it is something imaginary and the fact is different. Look at the example. We don't live by the sea. What is the wish? I wish we lived by the sea. So here, look, we changed the tense. Number two, it rains all the time in this country. Mom wishes it didn't rain all the time in this country, and here also we change the tense. We can also use wish plus could plus base form. Like, the fact is, I can't play the guitar, and the wish is, I wish I could play the guitar. So there is a difference between the fact and the wish. That in wish we use wish plus past symbol, or we can use also wish plus could, and we followed them by base form. Let us move to the exercises. Exercise number one, complete the sentences. Use the past symbol and the verbs in brackets. Number one, Gemma wishes her family had a boat. Gemma wishes her family had a boat. Number two, a lot of people wish life less busy, and the verb is be. What is simple past of be? Excellent, was. Number three, I wish we know how to play this game. Here we have to change know into simple past, which is new, excellent. Number three, sorry, number four, I wish our cousins live closer. What is the verb to of love? Excellent, loved. Number five, I wish people not throw litter everywhere. And here we have not. How can we negate simple past? Excellent, by adding didn't. So, I wish people didn't throw litter everywhere. Number six, Billy wishes he can paint like puppy. And the simple past of can is could excellent number seven i wish this jewelry not be so expensive and here how can we make it negative excellent simple past of be is was so how can we make it negative wasn't excellent wasn't so expensive number eight we wish our team not lose every match and how can we make negate simple past excellent by add didn't so didn't lose didn't lose now move to page 87 there you can find exercise number two 
look at the pictures and write sentences with I wish. Inside the picture, we have the fact and what we have to write is the wish. Look at picture number one. I don't have any sun cream. What is the wish? I wish I had some sun cream. Excellent. I feel sick. Excellent. I wish I didn't feel sick. I wish I didn't feel sick. Number three. We haven't got a garden. We haven't got a garden. I wish we had a garden. Excellent. I wish we had a garden. Number four. It isn't peaceful here. I wish. Excellent. It was peaceful here. It was peaceful here. Number five. I don't have enough money to go to the cinema. I wish. Excellent. I had enough money to go to the cinema. I wish I had enough money to go to the cinema. Number six. There isn't enough snow. I wish there was enough snow. Amazing. I wish there was enough snow. Kava, I don't speak French. I wish I spoke French. Excellent. I wish I spoke French. The last one there. It rains all the time. I wish it didn't rain all the time. Excellent. It didn't rain all the time. And if the fact is negative, the wish should be positive or affirmative and vice versa. I hope that you can understand it. Dear students, we are on page 88 and we are going to discuss a new topic which is question tags. There we have an email. It is from Pili to Theo. And the subject is my holiday. Let us read it first and then we are going to discuss. Hi Theo. What a great holiday. It was a fantastic campsite, wasn't it? And it was so near the beach. I don't think I've ever swum so much. We spent a lot of time swimming in the sea, didn't we? We also saw lots of exciting places and took lots of photos. Sam's got some amazing photos. He said he'd send me some. He doesn't have your email address, does he? I'll give it to him if you want. I have to go now as I have to study for a test at school. It is a shame holiday don't last forever, isn't it? Write to me soon. Pilly. As you see there, in bold, we have different questions, and they are very short questions come at the end of the sentence. Like wasn't, it, didn't, we, does, he, isn't, it. What are they? Excellent. This is what we call question tags. What are question tags? Yes. Question tags are short questions placed at the end of the statement, and they are formed with an auxiliary verb and a personal pronoun. We use them when we're not sure about something or when we're asking for a confirmation. Notice that if the statement is positive, then the question tag is negative. And if the statement is negative, the question tag is positive. Again, question tags are short questions that we use at the end of a statement. And we use question tags to say, is that right? Or do you agree? Like it is called, isn't it? We form sentences with question tags like this. If the sentence is affirmative, we have to put negative question tag. And if the sentence is negative, we have to put affirmative question tag. You can swim. This sentence is affirmative. So the negative, ta the negative tag or the question tag should be in negative like, can't you? And if the sentence originally is negative, like you can't swim, the affirmative tag should be like, can you? We always use a pronoun in the question tag, not a name or a noun with the verb be, can, and will. And we repeat the verb, like, she is very tall, isn't she? You can't swim, can you? Mom will go shopping today, won't she? With most other verbs, we use do, 
don't, did, and didn't in the question tag. Like, you live near here, and the sentence is in simple present, that's why we use don't you? Question number three, read the question. Do they ask, is that right? Or do you agree? We have to put either right, for example, or, or agree, like A. Number one, you are French, aren't you? Here they are asking, is that right? So that's why we put are, excellent. Number two, it is warm today, isn't it? Excellent, we have to put do you agree, which means A. Number three, this food isn't very spicy, is it? And here also we ask, do you agree? A, excellent. Number four, your aunt had a baby last year, didn't she? Excellent, is that right? Or, number five, Oscar can't swim, can he? Excellent, is that right? Or, number six, this football match isn't very interesting, is it? Excellent, which means, do you agree? A. The passes don't stop here, do they? Excellent, is that right? Or, Number eight, the film was made in Hungary, wasn't it? Excellent, which means, is that right? Or. Now, with the practicing, we are going to understand it more. And let us move to page 89, question number four. We have to circle the correct answer. Number one, it is very hot today, isn't it? Here, the sentence is, Positive, affirmative, excellent. That's why the question tag is negative. Move to number two. You did your homework. What shall we put? Didn't you or did you? Excellent, negative question tag, which means didn't you. Number three. Jamie is or Jamie isn't a very clever boy, isn't he? Excellent, Jamie is, apostrophe S because the question tag here is negative. Number four, your dad works very hard. Does he or doesn't he? Excellent, doesn't he? Number five, it is Judy's first day at school today. Isn't it or was it? Excellent, isn't it? Number six, grandma and grandpa always give you presents. Aren't they or don't they? Excellent, don't they? Number seven, we had or we didn't have a good holiday, did we? And notice here that the question tag is positive, affirmative, which means didn't have, amazing. Number eight, the football match was or wasn't very exciting, wasn't it? Excellent, was. Number nine, Molly can paint beautiful pictures. Can't she or could she? Excellent, can't she? Number 10, we won't or we'll have time to go shopping, will we? Excellent, we won't. Number five, match from one to eight with A to H. Number one, there aren't many people here or there with F. Number two, that's a new printer. Excellent, with E, isn't it? Number three, Heidi bought a new pair of trainers. Excellent, with H, didn't she? Number four, Jamie doesn't live in Cairo. Excellent, with G, does he? Number five, you didn't bring a coat. Did you? Excellent, with C. Number six, Polly and Sydney are lovely. Excellent, aren't they with D? Number seven, everyone arrived on time, didn't they? Excellent, with B. And the last one there with A, you had fun at the party, didn't you? In question number six, we have to complete the sentences using the words from the box to make a question tags. Dead, aren't, didn't, doesn't, am, 
wasn't, do, and wasn't. Look at sentence number one. You are new here, aren't you? Number two. The road was very smooth, wasn't it? Excellent, because we have was, the question tag should be wasn't excellent. Rob likes Indian food, doesn't he? Excellent, because this sentence is in simple present, and we are talking about Rob, so doesn't he? Number four, Katie didn't call, did she? Because we have didn't in negative, it should be affirmative, excellent, did she? Number five, Toby was given a new computer. Excellent, wasn't he? Number six, Grandma and Grandpa don't go on holiday every year. Do they? Amazing, do they? Number seven, you booked the cinema tickets, didn't you? Excellent, because this sentence is originally in simple past, you booked, and this is how can we make it negative, didn't you? Number eight, the last one, I'm not late, and we have am, excellent, am I, am I? Dear students, let us complete exercises page 90. Exercise number seven, complete the conversation. Use question tags. Jamie, we don't have any plans for today, do we? Shall we go to the park? Max, yes, let us do that. Our friend will want to come. Want they? Excellent. Number three, Jamie, yes. Charlie and the friend are at home with their mom and dad, aren't they? Max, but Charlie's exam is tomorrow, isn't it? He's probably studying. Jamie, Fred doesn't like staying at home on sunny days, does he? It is a nice day today, isn't it? So let us ask him. Max, yes, we'll ask Fred. Your cousin Mandy is here at the moment, isn't she? Jamie, yes, she is here until next week. We'll ask her to. It'll be a great day, won't it? Question number eight. We have to write sentences and we have to use the question tags. It is sunny today, isn't it? Number two, you not see a shooting star last night. How can we form a sentence? Excellent, you didn't see a shooting star last night, did you? Number three, Andy not be very tall. Andy isn't very tall, is he? Excellent, number four, we can pick these flowers, can't we? Number five. Pili lost his new camera yesterday, didn't he? Number six. Amy didn't call earlier, did she? Number seven. They weren't late for a school yesterday, were they? Number eight. Helen likes eating fish, doesn't she? Number nine. I can use the computer after you, can't I? And the last sentence there, the CD player doesn't work, does it? Move to page 91. There we have question number 9 and also we have to complete the sentences and put question tags. Picture number 1. You aren't English, are you? No, I'm not English. Number two. Our hotel wasn't very comfortable, was it? No, our hotel wasn't very comfortable. Number three. You live near here, don't you? Yes, I live near here. Number four. This, is, this camera is yours. Isn't it? Yes, it is mine. Number six. You didn't talk in my sleep, did you? Or did I? No, I don't know the time. So number six again. You didn't talk in my sleep, 
Did I? No, I don't know the time. Number seven. Your exams starts next week, don't they? Your exams start next week, don't they? Yes, they start next week. Number eight. Janie works very hard, doesn't she? Janie works very hard, doesn't she? Yes, she works very hard. Thank you. Dear students, we are on page 92 where you can find the review number 4. And in this review, we are going to revise together the reported speech and how can we report statements, questions, commands, and requests. In question number 1, we are going to report some statements. And remember, when reporting statements, we are going to change the tense, the pronouns, and some words. Look at picture number one. I won't go to the park. How can we report this statement? Janie said she wanted to go to the park. And notice here that we change the tense from simple present to simple past. We change the pronoun I into she and we complete the sentence. Number two, I am going to become a doctor. Here, Heidi said, she, excellent, she was going to become a doctor. She was going to become a doctor. Number three, they haven't chosen Billy for a th the team. They haven't chosen Billy for the team. Ollie said they hadn't chosen Billy for the team. Number four, I really like watching cartoons. Anna said she really liked watching cartoons. Excellent. Number five. We aren't going outside of it rains. We aren't going outside of it rains. Ethan and Jasper said they weren't going outside if it rained. Number six. I am sitting in the park with Tommy. Max said he was sitting in the park with Tommy. Excellent. Number seven. Mom and Dad went to the theater for Mom's birthday. How can we report this statement? Tanya said Mom and Dad had been to the theater for Mom's birthday. Excellent. Number eight. I've forgotten my homework. Charlie said he'd forgotten his homework. Excellent. He'd forgotten his homework. Now move to page 93 where you can find question number 2 and it is talking about reflexive pronouns. Do you remember reflexive pronouns? Excellent! We are going to complete the sentences using the suitable reflexive pronoun. I made this model all by myself. Number 2. Mom says we can go to the park. Ourselves. Excellent! By ourselves. Excellent! Number three, Henry, when you fell, did you hurt yourself? Did you hurt yourself? Excellent. Number four, I think the printer is broken. It switches itself off all the time. Excellent. Itself. Number five, Pop and Claire chose this present. Themselves. Excellent. Themselves. And the last one there, Poppy cooked this meal herself. Excellent. Poppy cooked this meal herself. In question number three, we have a table and what we have to do is to report questions. And remember, when reporting questions, used asked and a question word. Number one, where is the shopping? The speaker is mom, the listener is Edward. How can we report this question? Mom asked Edward where the shopping was. Excellent. Number two. Who can make the paste cake? Katie asked Linda. So Katie asked Linda who could make the paste cake? Who could make the paste cake? Number three. Where does Oscar live? Dad asked George. Excellent. Dad asked George where Oscar left. Where Oscar left. Number four. 
Why do birds sing? The speaker is Jason and the listener is Katie. So, Jason asked Katie why birds sang. Jason asked Katie why birds sang. Number five. Why are you late? The speaker is the teacher and the listener is Amy and Katie. So, the teacher asked Amy and Katie why they were late. Why they were late. Number six. When does the postman usually arrive? The speaker is Carla and the listener is Grandpa. So, Carla asked Grandpa when the postman usually arrived. When the postman usually arrived. Number seven. What time is it? The speaker is Mom and the listener is Jamie. So, Mom asked Jamie what time it was. Excellent. What time it was. The last question. Which book did you read? The speaker is Mom and the listener is Julia. Mom asked Julia which book she'd read or she'd read. On page 94, we have question number 4. And here, we are going to remember together how can we report commands. We have a table, direct command, speaker, and the listener. Number 1. Write the rate on the board. The speaker is my teacher and the listener is me. So, the reported command is, my teacher told me to write the rate on the board. Number 2. Don't play outside for long. The speaker is mom and the listener is us. The reported command is, mom told us not to play outside for long. Number three, bring some water. The speaker is Andy and the listener is Theo. So, Andy told Theo to bring some water. To bring some water. Number four, go to bed soon. The speaker is Dad and the listener is Mandy. Dad told Mandy to go to bed soon. Number five, be quiet. The speaker is the teacher and the listener is the children. Excellent. So, the teacher told the children to be quiet. Excellent. Number six, get some milk from the shop. The speaker is Mom and the listener is Sydney. Mom told Sydney to get some milk from the shop. Now, in exercise number five, we are going to know how can we report questions or requests. And we report requests using asked. Excellent. We have a table to direct request, speaker, and the listener. Number one, can you write down Alex's email address? The speaker is Chris and the listener is Janie. So, Chris asked Janie to write down Alex's email address. Number two, can you pass the crisps, please? The speaker is mom and the listener is dad. Mom asked dad to pass the crisps. Mom asked dad to pass the crisps. Number three, can you give me some more lemonade, please? The speaker is Sally and the listener is Billy. So Sally asked Billy to give her some more lemonade. Number four, can you tell another joke? The speaker is Jamie and the listener is dad. So Jamie asked dad to tell another joke. Number five, can you help with the games? The speaker is grandma and the listener is grandpa. So grandma asked grandpa to help with the games. Number six, can you give a letter to Max? The speaker is the teacher and the listener is Tanya, so the teacher asked Tanya to give a letter to Max. Number seven, can you put on some music, please? The speaker is Molly and the listener is Sydney. So, Molly asked Sydney to put on some music. Number eight, can you take some cake to grandma, please? Mom asked the children to take some cake to grandma. On page 95, we are going to complete the sentences using wish and with the verb from the box. Number one. I love the sea. I wish I could swim better. Number two. Claire likes animals. She. 
Excellent. She wishes she could go to the zoo more often. Number three. It has been raining since last week. We wish it didn't rain so much in this country. Number four. We're looking forward to seeing our cousins. Excellent. We wish they didn't live so far away. Number five. I. Excellent. I wish I had more money to buy music with. Number six. I wish we didn't have to go to school tomorrow. Number seven. We love football. We wish there was a football pitch in our town. Number eight. Carrie really likes languages. She wishes she spoke French fluently. In exercise number seven, we are going to write sentences with question tags. You're Egyptian, aren't you? Number two. That's a very big smoothie, isn't it? Number three. Jamie doesn't like rock climbing, does he? Number four. It was hot yesterday. Wasn't it? Number five. We don't have much luggage, do we? Number six. Gemma and Eric can speak German, can't they? Number seven. People don't write letters very often, do they? Number eight. You didn't act in the play last year, did you? Dear students, I believe in you. Keep smiling, keep your head up, keep moving and stay positive. Inshallah, we'll get through it. On this slide, you can find the answer key of unit 12, question number 1, question number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Here you can find question number 8 and 9, and the review key answers also question number 1. Here you can find number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. That's all for this unit. And keep in mind, success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you're doing or learning to do. However difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. I hope you can come over this presentation easily and without any problems or difficulties. And remember, don't wait for the opportunity, create it. It is your English teacher, Hamas al -Jayusi. I am longing to see you from Al-Muhammadiyah schools and kindergarten. Goodbye.